Welcome back. Uh, we are continuing uh, our uh, programming challenges, solving these uh, programming challenges. And uh, if you have any, uh, if you have any uh, questions, if you, if you have any uh, programming challenge that you are struggling with, uh, please let me know. Um, post it on the comments section and um, I will try to uh, to solve it and um, I will try to, to help you. So um, we are continuing our um, our uh, programming challenges in the book is starting out with Java and uh, we are in the chapter chapter 5 and the problem uh, we are solving today is called the greatest and least of these and the uh, pro the problem says uh, write a program with a loop uh, that lets the user enter a series of uh, integers uh, the user should uh, enter negative 99 to signal the end of the series after after all the number numbers have been entered the program should display the largest and the smallest number no, numbers entered so basically what they want is to create a program that asks the user to enter a series of numbers and uh, and when once the the user enters negative 99 the program uh, should uh, terminate and after that we have to uh, come up with or calculate the least the smallest number and the uh, greatest number in these uh, numbers that the user entered so let's create um, uh, the, the class uh, the class is called greatest and least okay so create the, the public method uh, first we create um, we create a scanner class to take an, an input uh, from the keyboard as always important and um, after that we ask the user enter a number um, to start uh, asking the user for the numbers and um, we have to start it somewhere so we will start it in the number variable after that we have to create uh, the large uh, the greatest and least uh, uh, variables we will say min equal uh, number initially it will it will be equal to the number Whatever uh, the user enters, uh, whatever number the user enters, our minimum would be equal to that. And the max number would be equal to whatever uh, the user is entering at that moment. Um, so initially, uh, the min and max uh, numbers are whatever the user enters. So we use while loop. We say number uh, while number is not equal to negative 99. While this condition is true, while uh, the number that the user enters is not equal to negative 99, we want to we want to test um, the the number. Uh, if if number is less than min we have to compare the, the two numbers now we have to compare the number that the user entered 
and the current minimum number that we we have so if the number is less than the minimum we want to store it that number in the minimum a variable and also we have to test the other number which is maximum if number is greater than max we have to uh, store it in a max uh, number after we uh, test it after we test the minimum and maximum number we have to we have to ask the user again for uh, the next number enter the next number I don't want a new line and we have to store it in number so uh, the our um, our logic in the while loop um, as you understand it is the while loop would continue until the user enters negative 99 if the user enters negative 99 the loop would uh, would uh, exit and the program would end after the program ends we want to show the greatest and the least of the numbers it will say min we will say min min and and max not max we want to add a space between the calculations and the results so so uh, we will we'll go over once more um, First, I created a scanner class to take an input uh, from the keyboard. Then we ask the uh, we ask the user to enter a number, uh, and the number that the user enters is stored in number. After that, we created min and max variables, and we initialized with with the, the number that the user entered, both of them and we created a while loop to test to test whether um whether the number is is equal to negative 99 if it is then the um, the while loop would terminate and the program would end if it is not uh, we go into the while loop and the while loop would test if the number is less than the minimum and if it is, uh, that number would be stored in the minimum. If, and also we have to test the second uh, variable, which is the maximum. If the number is greater than maximum, we would store that number in the maximum. And um, we go down here to the, to the next number. We have to continue asking uh, a new number after after the first time otherwise it would uh, it, it wouldn't give us give us give us a, a a print a prompt if we didn't if we didn't include this uh, if we didn't include this it wouldn't uh, give us a prompt to ask a new number so that's why we we added uh, another another print line to ask the uh, uh, the new number and the here like enter a new enter a number and the next number it would ask the user for the next number and it would store in the number and the loop would continue after the loop ends um, here we uh, printed the min and max so let's uh, let's test it enter a number 
let's say 800 enter the next number negative 984 enter the next number 489 349 negative 19 now I want to end it with negative uh, 99 uh, they said the minimum number is negative 84 negative uh, 984 uh, that's correct the maximum number is 800 800 yeah that's correct because it was the first first number here so so that is uh, uh, that is uh, that's it we asked the the user a series of numbers and we displayed the minimum and the maximum number so guys it is not that difficult what this uh, for this uh, pro program and uh, I will post it in the description and uh, I will post it in my github account and um, and I hope uh, you I hope you guys liked it and if you have any questions please let me know and um, and I'll see you next time.